What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Gun for Newbies here. And um, so today we are doing my Norso uh, build. So last time you saw this, I had a Wilson Combat lower. I had a Zev complete upper with barrel sights. Um, obviously it's RMR cut. So is this one, but had all that. Um, and then um, I just always buy a new recoil uh, spring for every assembly I do. Um, just a habit of mine and then finally so i've been waiting for this for about probably 45 days so i'm really excited that it finally has come into play um because you know i just been waiting on it for so long and this has been pretty much useless it's been a paperweight so here we go we have the uh norso 3.9 inch black level 1.5 so it's basically a ported barrel so they just call it their 1.5 so this is the casing that it comes in looks like it comes with a bit of lubricant here they used to have some that just were flat barrels and they started making these that actually have like these indents cut ins and you can see it's a pretty significant pour it's actually it's actually bigger than what i thought it would be so i'm really excited to try this out they really lube this thing up really good uh i'm not really sure if you can see that but there's still quite a bit there in the packaging as well it's kind of hard to catch it on camera but it's lubed up pretty good so let me grab a little towel okay and you should have some assembly on there it's not like this can get it 100 percent dry but this is just a lot for me and uh so i just want to dry it up it's gonna be my carry gun and i don't really like over lubing the guns just because you'll attract a lot of debris in my personal opinion so i don't typically run i typically almost run none in my carry guns it allows it to pick up less less stuff you know, some people be like well you should do that because uh you know you're gonna get um rust corrosion blah 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 you should oil it yeah you should um as long as you don't have bare exposed metal you shouldn't be getting so much dampness to your concealed carry gun that it's starting to rust unless you have an x macro like my lovely x macro that unfortunately is getting a quite a bit of rust so you can see the fitment so this is my slide. I know I didn't really do an up close, um, you know, in-depth uh, video on this. However, it is the Norso Reptile C is what they call it. Uh, so it's got the two C style ports. That's why they call it the C style Reptile. And the Reptile, pretty much you get these really, really aggressive front serrations, rear serrations, and um, these window cuts, and then obviously the top porting. So I went that. I did night vision, suppressor height sights, um, orange front, that way it'd line up real nice with the red dot. So even if I turn that up, you can see it lines up pretty nice. So really like that. Um, so let's get this put together. And just for you people that are thinking about assembling one of these or taking it apart to clean it, the uh, flat sides go to left to right so they don't go up and down so the big log flat sides go left to right so and then if you do what i did so what i do is just to store the magazine is you can pull this back push this forward and then push this up and then that'll release it so then you have uh, full capability of your magazine just makes it easier to store it while your gun's uh, pretty much down and then once you're done you just pull, push the trigger back in turn it back and now you're ready to mount your slide and make the gun whole again lock it back fitment's nice and good uh, that lock up's pretty nice so lock up basically what i'm doing is i'm trying to test essentially um for instance here's my mp you can see i don't even have the mag in there but it's just a that one pretty much has no just a tiny bit of movement there um and that might be because it's brand new the lockup is completely there actually i, I feel like that's just how it's going to be it's fitted really really incredibly well so and you can see let's see if we can get this over here so you guys can actually see what i'm talking about you 
Okay. Look at that. So it's chambered and you can see they actually, they cut it so that way when you're looking inside the barrel, it's going to come this way, same way that the slide is cut, and then that one's going to go that way, but both are basically going to come up like that. So out of the front when you're shooting, right, when you're shooting, it'll be pushing up in both ways to help try to give you less muzzle rise. Um, so we're going to do a comparison to this. A lot of people are led to believe um that because of the high bore axis the sigs are incredibly slow blah 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 and you got to get back on target and this is not i enjoy shoot, shooting the sigs um i'm going to make another video on upgrades to this and why i wish i would have kind of done things some things differently um i let a lot of influencers get to me especially on youtube and it's really not the case so you got to trust your platform you need a lot of training and that is all I will tell you for now. But this purpose of this video was strictly to show you guys if you're thinking about getting a Norsel barrel and Norsel, I guess Norsel upper. I mean, guys, I, I'm, I'm loving this setup. Um, I think I will get a black trigger. But lockup's incredible there. Um, it looks really, really nice. I really like the fitment. It looks like they did a reverse crown on the barrel. You can see. So I have my camera angle, so I'm not flagging myself, even though I've checked it like 40 times. I know I'll probably hear something about that. So um, nevertheless, this is it. It looks really, really nice. Got the Norsa logo, got the cutouts. It's got really, really good lockup. It actually doesn't move anywhere back and forth. So that's that's important. So, and you'll see like Terran Tactical, they ion bond the uh, barrel, gives it a little bit extra thickness and it helps the lockup. So that way you get increased accuracy. You don't get so much movement when you're pulling back the trigger or it's resetting, depending on where the barrel is set, it can move a couple, you know, maybe millimeters, maybe micromillimeters. I'm not sure what the, the actual uh, measurement is there. Um, just based on my knowledge, it can, ca can cause um, a little bit of accuracy, um, like basically inaccuracy. I wouldn't say it'd be inaccurate. Typically shooting is, is based on the user itself, but if it's off a little bit, it can change the trajectory of the projectile. So in that way, it could be more inaccurate from where you're aiming or where your shots are intended to go. So instant, eh, funny enough, I lost the, uh, the little backout washer here. So that's interesting. Another reason to always check your guns. Um, I've carried this gun for a long time. Must've fell off and um, didn't even know it was gone. So I luckily I have a lot of spares. So I always keep pair, spares and uh, that is the reason why. So yeah, looks like it works really good. There's uh, room in between the uh, slide and the takedown lever there, gas pedal, whatever you want to call it. Push that all the way up against there. No rubbing at all, for what I can see. I'm not really focused too much on the camera. I want to see myself. I'm not scratching my new slide to crap. But yeah, works really well. Now, they do make a longer slide of 4.7. I've thought about even making that into my X5 Legion. We'll see where that goes. I have other plans for the X5 Legion. This is just a medium um, uh, carry magwell. Or carry magwell. Carry um, grip module. And it's also weight uh, compliant. So you can actually fit a weight in there i'm not sure if you can see in there there's a there is a spot for it so you can see there's like some divots there it's a little dark in there maybe i could do this i just can physically see all the way through so a little harder to get in there but still there is a spot in here where you can put a, a weight in it actually feels just exactly like the tungsten uh, weight so that'd be nice however i carry this gun i don't want to be too heavy while i'm carrying it all day so this is more of like uh you know i i, I just really don't care it's, it's going to help a little bit with recoil having a little bit heavier gun but you also got to think too when you're um shooting you're putting it at the heel so as weight transfers you're pretty much trying to fight that weight as well so and it feels pretty balanced how it is so i'm going to leave it alone but nevertheless i would rate this um i've had a lot of aftermarket stuff and i pretty much stayed to zev because their coating is really nice it functions really properly i have not functioned this or function tested this yet i do plan to very soon so keep in keep in um keep, stay tuned for that but um, everything I can tell from so far, it is definitely quality. The fitment on it is amazing. Um, and that really can tell you a lot from the quality control you get. Um, I emailed the guy directly uh, and he definitely answered all my questions, gave me some realistic expectations on times, uh, let me know when the barrel was in, even though they were selling out really quickly. 
And, um, you know, he definitely took care of me and I'm very happy that I emailed the guy and got all this information and it definitely worked out, you know, so I really like it. We'll see how it shoots and we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to uh, compare this to a Glock 19X and we'll see kind of what the difference is. So we'll see if this is worth all the money that you um, essentially put into this or if you should just go with a different platform with lower bore axis. However, a lot of that is going to really determine on your level of, of uh, shooting capability and how much you've practiced with it. Either gun is kind of hard to, um, you know, for somebody who's never shot anything before just to go out there and just shoot tight groups, shoot really quickly and do all that stuff and, and feel confident. So, um, Stay tuned, like I said, we'll keep in touch with another video comparing the two, and then hopefully this stuff will help you guys. And then there will also be another video talking about upgrades that I've done to this, and we'll kind of go from there. So thank you guys so much, and uh, until next time.